first. If you attended the session on Friday, you know that we discussed some basic prepositions. On Friday, we discussed above, below, over, under, across, and along. We discussed these six prepositions. I hope you guys understood their use. In case you want to watch that lesson, it's there on YouTube. You can watch it there and learn the use of these six prepositions. Today, we will discuss the use of six more prepositions between, among, beyond, despite, until, and unless. We'll discuss these six and then if you guys want to ask about some prepositions, then you can ask your questions and we can discuss those prepositions. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and move to between. So I'll move to between and we'll start discussing from there. Okay, Manish has raised his hand. Manish, do you have a question? No, I don't have any question. I raised this hand just because you will ask. To participate, to participate in the class? Yeah, to That's wonderful. I have such eager <laughs> people. People are waiting to participate. That makes me very happy. Please keep your spirits yeah. up. Yeah, and for everybody, please stay energetic for the next one hour and enjoy this class. If you want to learn something, you must enjoy it. If you enjoy it, then you will not learn it. If you feel like a boring class, please let me know. Please let me know. But you should understand it. You should feel share your feedback so that I can work on that. Or Abhi, let's understand and let's participate in this class. So, we have uh, discussed how to use along. If the cars are parked along the road, we walked along the beach. We discussed it in the last session. Now we'll move on and we'll talk about between. I think between is easy, but uh, let's discuss it. Between means when, between means in the middle of two things. For those of us who speak Hindi, koi cheez, do cheezo ke beech mein koi baat ho hai, to we say between, we use the word between. Any two people, any two places, we use between. For example, take a look at these examples and I would like someone to read these examples. Okay, since Manish is there, who raised his hand first, please go ahead, Manish, and explain these sentences to us. Yes, ma'am. On the train, I was sitting between two very large men. Actually, I was sitting between two very large men. Between two very large men. Sorry, two very large men. There is a break of 10 minutes between classes. Classes ke beach mein do dust minute ka break. Break hai, sorry. The office is closed for lunch between 12.30 to 1.30. Office closed rata hai lunch ke time pe sade bara se kit ke beach. The money was divided equally between two brothers. Money paisa do bhaiyo ke beach, do logo ke beach mein, do bhaiyo ke beach mein equally divided tha. Okay. Next week game will be between two finalists. Next week game two finalists ke beech mein hoon. That's right. Thank you for explaining that Manish. So guys as you can see between matlab kisi bhi do cheezon ke beech mein. When there are only two things involved we use the word between. Let's hear some more examples from you all. I want you guys to share examples. You can share with me on chat. I will chat for the chat. Examples are made for participate. Can you clear hand raise? Can you? I will unmute you. I want people to participate. If you have a hand, please participate during the class. Okay, Bridget says, I do share the fruits between Kashish and Nidhi. Nini. Okay, yeah, that's right. Aditya, please share some examples. Uh, okay, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Oh. Mm -hmm. I was I was served between I was 
struck between two i was struck between two cars okay and the cat uh, the cat came between a car and uh, the ca the cat came between a car and a bike okay that's right and uh, our office will our office will uh, sorry our school will open for 8 hour, uh, 8 hours between 8 to uh, 8 to 1 o'clock and that's all okay good example sadhika thank you for sharing yes that's how you use between let's go to one more person i'll go to pankaj pankaj please share some examples yes good evening madam good evening pankaj b b bear sitting between two men and talking uh, talking about the queen's marriage okay that's sure. it okay thank you for sharing that let's go to ara ara please share an example ma'am there is a cricket match between two teams that's right between two teams between two people between two friends between two things i'm sitting between my daughter and son that's right there's only a little distance between english and me okay she is standing between her friends don't ask anything between two people stop okay yes that's right there's fight between rahul and priya okay there's a cricket match between two teams that's great it would remove the obstacles between you and your mate yes good ones guys great examples yeah and i really appreciate that uh, it's a valentines day today and you guys are here my home is between school and park great you guys have no valentine day plans good for you your plan is to study so that's great so guys that's between between matlab koi bhi do cheez ke beech mein koi cheez hai to between for example we have our nose between the two cheeks between that's how we use you have shared the examples now married people are must here yeah. <laughs> okay now let's move on let's talk about among for those of us who speak hindi among ka matlab bhi beech mein hota hai between ka matlab bhi beech mein hota hai but between is used only when there are two things and among is used when something is in the middle of three or more three or more people three or more things three or more places that's when we use among for example let's take a look at these sentences and uh, let me ask jitendra to read these sentences for us yes ma'am good evening mm. among covid 19 is not very common among children covid 19 jo hai children ke beech mein common nahi hai uh uh paper paper peer pressure peer pressure sorry peer pressure is a strong among young people uh peer pressure means ma'am peer peer means people who are in your group people who are okay. your age so okay. those are your peers peer pressure means मेरे एज के सारे लोग ये कर रहे हैं तो मुझे भी करना है मेरे सारे दोस्त वहां जा रहे हैं तो मुझे भी जाना है प्रेशर ऑफ डूइंग समथिंग बिकॉज योर फ्रेंड्स आर डूइंग इट और पीपल योर एज आर डूइंग इट सो दैट्स पियर प्रेशर ओके मैम पियर प्रेशर जो है स्ट्रॉन्ग अमंग पीपल मतलब पीपल के बीच में स्ट्रॉन्ग पीपल्स के बीच में ज्यादा है मतलब स्ट्रॉन्ग है दैट्स राइट व्हेन अमंग यंग पीपल राइट Yeah, or uh, uh, Shakespeare is a giant uh, among writers. Shakespeare, who is a good uh, writer, was a good writer. That's right. Giant, giant means very big, huge. Very big. Giant, huge. Uh, 
सी लिव्स इन दैट हाउस अमंग द ट्रीज वो uh, जो पेड़ों के बीच में घर है उसमें रहती है कितने ट्रीज होंगे वहाँ पे मैम दो ट्रीज होंगे उनके बीच में या चार ट्रीज हाँ. होंगे दो होंगे तो ओनली बिटवीन होगा इफ देर आर मोर देन टू ट्रीज अमंग ओके ओके मोर देन टू दस राइट अमंग मीन्स एंड देर आर मेनी नॉट जस्ट टू इफ देर ओनली टू ट्रीज देन वील से माई हाउस इज बिटवीन दीज टू ट्रीज मैम उसमें काउंटेबल है या नॉन काउंटेबल होगा अगर अमंग में means okay. only two things okay in the middle of two things matlab between in the middle of more than two things means among okay char bhi ho sakte hain panch bhi ho sakte hain teen char panch chhe then you will use okay ma'am okay ma'am uh, the new teacher has become popular among the student jo naya teacher hai wo bachcho ke beech mein uh, famous hai okay that's right thank you ma'am thank you for reading You're sorry kajal uh, for misspelling your name yes so this how we use among if there are more than two things we use among for example uh, how many students are married among all my students so among all my students means because i don't have only two i have many students so for example 10 students are married among all the students so that's how we use the word among When you're talking about multiple people, can you give me some more examples, guys? Satya, could you share some examples with me? Yes, ma'am. Yesterday I saw you among the crowd. That's right. There should be some coordination among members in a group discussion. Mm hmm. That's all, ma'am. Good. Thank you. So he says the ball was hidden among the leaves right i'm happy you are among us okay the united states has come among two countries my house is among the trees okay um yeah that's how you can use them good so this is among i hope you guys understood among is easy to use right Do you have any questions? Kek among ka bolenge or between ka bolenge? Do you have any doubt in that? I hope it's clear to you. If you have any questions, please let me know. You can write to me in the chat as well. Okay. There is an imposter among us. Yeah, a great sentence. Distribute chocolates among all the students. Yeah, I'm younger among my cousins. I'm youngest. Maybe you can say youngest among my cousins. they are talking among themselves yes all these are great examples that's how you speak imposter imposter is a person who pretends to be someone else but they are someone else that person is an imposter now let's move on let's talk about the word beyond beyond matlab outside a limit let's see how we can use beyond take a look at these examples and i would like eagle to read these examples for us yes ma'am yes sir please read the house is beyond the bridge mm -hmm. this is so can you tell me can you tell me if we say the house is beyond the bridge where is the house uh mm -hmm. So, for example, you are standing here, and then there is a bridge, and you are saying that there is the house is beyond the bridge. So, uh, like, where should it be? At the opposite side. Okay, that's right. I agree with you. So, it's basically at the opposite side. After you cross the bridge, then maybe you know that's where the house is. Okay, next one. This is too difficult. It's beyond me. Uh mm huh. -hmm. What does that mean? Uh, 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 it is too difficult beyond my beyond my understanding. I can't understand it. The meeting continued beyond midnight. Mm -hmm. uh, the meeting uh, continued after um after after midnight. That's right. Till after midnight, yes. In a, in a few inches beyond my, 
it's a few inches beyond my reach. Mm -hmm. So can you reach it? No, ma'am. You can't reach it because it's beyond your reach. All right, next one. The problem is beyond my understanding. Mm -hmm. I can't understand. That's right. Very nice. Yes, Eagle. So if something is beyond, that means it is outside that limit. Like you can see beyond the bridge, beyond midnight, beyond my reach, beyond my understanding. That's how we use the word beyond. Now think of how you can use it. For Hindi speakers, we use the word pare, right? So we use beyond. Please let me know some more examples how you can use the word beyond in sentences. Um, I'll ask Kajal. Kajal, do you have some examples? Yes, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening. I'm sorry. Yeah, please go ahead. Okay, ma'am. She, uh, she is uh, uh, sitting beyond of uh, beyond of him. She is sitting beyond him. Why would you say beyond? Beyond coming over the outside a limit. I mean, kisi cheez ki kisi cheez ki jo um, boundaries hain, uske bahar, uske liye hum beyond use karte hain. Can you hear me? Yes, Kajal, please go ahead. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. And ma'am, second one is ma'am, uh, he, he, he woke up uh, beyond of midnight. Okay. And, uh, okay can, and you think of, I, can you think of, can you think of using the word uh, is Ke bahar, kisi limit ke bahar, kisi particular limit ke pare, and then use it in a sentence? Ma'am, uh, third one is uh, uh, when, uh, whenever she uh, start speaking, uh, I, 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 ma'am, I, I, ma'am, what the? Uh, and uh, you should write down your examples. Please write down your examples, Kajal, and then raise your hand again. Write down these sentences, raise your hand, and speak these sentences. Okay, I will meet you beyond my office. That's right, Rahul. Beyond my office means after my office hours. Yes, it is beyond my, oh, my parents love me is beyond my imagination. That's right. She looked at the courtyard beyond her window. Okay. Today's generation is beyond thinking. The paper is beyond syllabus. Yeah, this is a great example. The paper is beyond syllabus. Syllabus ke baad ka hai? To beyond our syllabus. The information was beyond valuable. That's right. If you say beyond valuable, then the bohaz other valuable ho jai. That plane is beyond clouds, okay? He did amazing work, which was beyond our expectations. That's right. You are beyond comparison. Everything is beyond my understanding, okay? The problem is getting worse. It is beyond our control. That's right, Satya. Beyond our control means not in our limits now, not in our control now, okay? Mamta ma'am is beyond comparison. Uh, okay, I don't know what that means. All right. So guys, that's beyond. Beyond my limit. I'm sorry, I can't do it. It's beyond my limit. It's beyond my limit means it's not in my limit. If something is not in your limit, then it is beyond if something is not in your understanding, then it is beyond your understanding. If something is not in your expectations, then it is beyond your expectations. 
अच्छा भी हो सकता है इट कैन बी गुड इट कैन बी बैड बट इट इज बियॉन्ड योर एक्सपेक्टेशन मीन्स नॉट इन द नॉट इन द लिमिट्स ऑफ योर एक्सपेक्टेशन सो आई होप इट्स क्लियर नाउ डज एनी वन स्टिल हैव कंफ्यूजन Rahul says beauty is obvious, but beyond that, I would say innocence. Okay, today share market fell fell down beyond my thinking. That's right. Yes, beyond my thinking means you could not think. It was outside your thinking. It was outside that limit. So whenever you are referring that something is outside a particular limit, it is beyond. Okay, good, Arab, that you got it. so guys that's the word beyond now it's it will be your turn after this at home you will use these words and sentences and share those examples with me so this was beyond let's move on let's talk about another um preposition that is despite despite means without being affected by without being affected by for those of you who speak hindi we use the words um we use the words you know sometimes we say fir bhi sometimes we say iske bawajood bhi so fir bhi ya is cheez ke bawajood bhi for that we use despite despite ka matlab hai ki there is something that is expected there is something that can affect it, it but you are not getting affected by it there is no effect that's when we use the word despite how let's take a look let's take a look at these sentences and please explain these sentences to me so i'll go to nandini please read these sentences nandini and explain to me hi nandini oh i can't hear nandini so let me go to some other participant let's go to aditya yes ma'am despite the bad weather we went out mm -hmm. ma'am it mean uh, ma'am the and jab ki kharab mausam tha hum tab bhi bahar gaye that's right and i was sweating a lot despite the air conditioning uh, matlab ma'am air conditioner chal raha tha but tab bhi main uh, tab bhi main sweat kar raha tha and uh, third one i like him despite his faults mujhe wo pasand hai uh, uske faults ke bawajood bhi despite his lack of experience he got the job uh ma'am um, this mean ma'am uske uh, ma'am usko usko uh, ma'am usko experience nahi tha fir fir bhi use job mil gayi mm -hmm. and she is full of energy despite her age wo apni umar se zyada energetic hai yes that's right so yeah maybe jabki wo उसकी एज बहुत ज्यादा है फिर भी वो फुल ऑफ एनर्जी है सो इन दैट सिचुएशन वी यूज डिस्पाइट थैंक यू आदित्य सो डिस्पाइट मींस देयर आर सम सरकमस्टांसेस बट उनका कोई इफेक्ट नहीं हो रहा आपके ऊपर उसके बाद भी आप कुछ कर दे रहे हो दैट्स व्हेन वी यूज डिस्पाइट लाइक इन ऑल दीज एग्जांपल्स फॉर एग्ज अनदर एग्जांपल कुड बी डिस्पाइट मल्टीपल वार्निंग्स he didn't listen to me maine bahut sare warnings diye usne fir bhi nahi suna so despite multiple warnings he did not listen to me or uh, uh, despite being sick she stood first in the class for example sick thi fir bhi first aayi despite being sick she stood first in the class or uh, today is a, today is valentines day despite that so many students came to the class valentine day hai fir bhi students aaye so despite that students are there in the class 
that's how we use the word despite now it's your turn guys to share examples oh there are many examples i hope you are reading them okay rf says i say them to take an ice cream for me despite that they didn't that's right Ara. i asked them you should say i asked them i asked them to take an ice cream for me despite that they didn't despite that they didn't yes despite the cool day he doesn't want to go out survey okay rahul says i love him despite his faults yeah Surbhi says, our vacation was a lot of fun despite the cold weather, right? I saw them to take an ice cream for me. Oh, same one. Sonia says, despite being offended, he met very gracefully with the people. Good. Rahul says, okay. Manish said, he was on leave despite a lot of pressure in office. Yeah, that happens. So he says, despite her young age, she did a very good job. Okay. He was on leave despite a lot of pressure. Despite her exams are near, she is not studying. Yeah. Despite his young age, he did a very good job. Okay, I read that. Despite of having headache, I have attended the function. Yes. Despite I know today's lesson, I'm attending the class. Despite bad weather, I reached airport with time. Good. Okay, Manish has a question. All right, Manish will talk. I don't forget her love despite her bad behavior. Great example, Vikas. Jyoti says, I ate ice cream despite I was suffering from cold. <laughs> okay, great one. She looked lovely despite her strange apparel. Yeah. Co COVID cases are very increased despite people. Oh, so Jansi, you should say, COVID cases are increasing despite that people are going out okay jansi despite that people are going out all right so yes guys those are all great examples manish please go ahead and ask the question ma'am uh, in these sentences i saw uh, the people are using despite in in the starting of the sentence and sometimes we use it in the middle of the sentence yes. so i observed like if we are using the despite in the starting then we use coma like yeah. is it a, is it a, a part of what we say conditional uh, sentence um, when we no, use actually comma is used for a pause when you want to take a pause so here we will take a pause despite the bad weather we went out that's why we are using a comma. But if you are using despite in the middle, you don't need to use a comma. Because, you know, it's kind of joining the two parts of the sentence. So you don't need a comma there. Okay. I was confused whether to, uh, Actually, when to use it. Actually, you see commas are used for pauses. When you need pauses, you put a comma. Okay. Actually, I was thinking whether to use it, uh, when, it when to use it in the starting and when to use it in... Uh, the middle of the sentence in the middle of the sentence uh doesn't matter you can use it for example we can say we went out despite the bad weather or we can say despite the bad weather we went out does not make any difference okay, okay. yeah similarly okay. i was sweating a lot despite the air conditioning or despite the air conditioning i was sweating a lot so it's the same meaning it makes no difference all right manish so I hope that's clear to you. Uh, Vikas says he has a question. Can you raise your hand, Vikas? Okay, please go ahead, Vikas. Am I audible, ma'am? Yes, hi. Please let me know. Uh, ma'am, actually, we use apart from that. So how apart from that is different from despite? Apart from that means you are adding something. Jessica. Um, I learn English at English Cafe. Apart from that, I also take guitar lessons. So apart from that means you do this plus that. But despite does not mean this plus that. Despite means, you know, there is a circumstance which is not affecting you. That's when you use despite. Okay. Are you getting it? Apart yes, from apart from in addition, in addition, besides, 
ये सारे वर्ड्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम ये सारे सिनोनिमस वर्ड्स हैं ओके इज दैट क्लियर यस मैम इट इज क्लियर वेरी नाइस थैंक यू फॉर आस्किंग दैट क्वेश्चन थैंक यू मैम शीतल सेज आई कुकड फूड डिस्पाइट आई वाज इल ग्रेट या देयर इज वन थिंग आई वांट टू टेल यू गाइस डिस्पाइट और इन स्पाइट ऑफ एक ही बात होती है यू शुड नो दिस डिस्पाइट एंड इन स्पाइट ऑफ दे आर द सेम एक और वर्ड होता है वो नॉट विद स्टैंडिंग होता है इसका बहुत ज्यादा यूज नहीं होता बट यू शुड नो दिस वर्ड ऑल्सो इन तीनों का एक ही मीनिंग होता है डिस्पाइट इन स्पाइट ऑफ नॉट विद स्टैंडिंग सेम थिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू कैन से डिस्पाइट द बैड वेदर वी वेंट आउट वेदर खराब था हम फिर भी बाहर गए इन स्पाइट ऑफ द बैड वेदर वी वेंट आउट वेदर खराब था हम फिर भी बाहर गए Not withstanding the bad weather, we went out. You can use any of these words; they will mean the same thing, same meaning. You can choose any word, but please remember that we don't use "of" with "despite." We don't say "despite of," but we do say "in spite of." You don't need to say "despite of the bad weather." That is incorrect. But you should say "in spite of the bad weather." so if you hear any of these words read any of these words in a sentence they mean the same thing same meaning so i hope you got that but we mostly use despite sometimes we also use in spite of notwithstanding is not very common but it also means the same thing so despite in spite of and notwithstanding ek hi matlab hai ke bawajood ke baad bhi Okay. Despite eating dinner, I ate momos. Yeah, we can eat momos. There is some bread apart from the milk. Yes, so that's correct, Rahul. That means there is bread plus milk. Both the things are there. Simran has a question. Simran, could you please raise your hand? Um, where are you? Okay, Simran, please go ahead. Uh, hello, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, please let me know. Uh, Ma'am, I saw one uh, sentence, one example. So I am quite confused uh, with the meaning. Okay. So uh, the sentence was, uh, "I will meet you beyond my office." So here, the I just want to know that what is the meaning of "beyond" uh, here in this sentence? Uh, this can only mean one thing. That can mean that after after my office hours. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Beyond my office okay. means after my office hours. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much for asking. Yes, it's a great thing to ask questions. अगर आप लोग आप इस क्लास में हैं और अटेंड कर रहे हैं, तो you should ask questions. कोई भी चीज समझ में नहीं आती है, please ask. Confusion होता है, please ask a question. Because you should get everything that I'm discussing here in the class. My stomach was full despite that I ate jam in the street. She told yes. you should understand what i'm discussing here in the class i try to make things very simple so that even if you are at basic level or even if it is your first day today you will understand and you will relate to this so i try to make it simple if you can't understand please ask questions i really appreciate questions if i don't know the answer i will find the answer from somewhere maybe i will discuss the next day but i will answer your question apart from that um अगर आपको क्लास में याद नहीं आता है देर आर मेनी पीपल दे कांट फाइंड क्वेरीज ऑन द स्पॉट बट लेटर दे हैव अलॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन वेन दे मे बी वेन यू रिवाइज और वेन यू थिंक अबाउट इट लेटर इफ यू हैव क्वेश्चन एट अ लेटर पॉइंट प्लीज आस्क दैन तभी भी आप मेरे को कभी भी पूछ सकते हैं यू कैन आस्क मी इन द ग्रुप इन द व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप यू कैन आस्क मी इंडिविजुअली प्लीज आस्क और यू कैन आस्क इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन जैसे कल हम मिलेंगे जब हम स्टार्ट करेंगे क्लास तो आप प्लीज मेरे को पूछें कि मेरे को कल आपने ये डिस्कस किया था मेरे को इसमें क्वेश्चन है या मेरे को ये क्वेरी है प्लीज आस्क मी दैट्स व्हाट आई वुड लाइक टू से प्लीज आस्क क्वेश्चंस ओके नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन एंड ओके जानसी हैज एन एग्जांपल शी इज ओबीस डिस्पाइट दैट शी लाइक्स जंक फूड सो जानसी प्लीज से शी इज ओबीस शी इज ओबीस डिस्पाइट दैट शी लाइक्स जंक फूड अपार्ट फ्रॉम स्कूल वर्क आई राइट पोएट्री यस दैट्स राइट Okay, good. Now let's move on. Let's talk about another preposition. Now we'll talk about until and till. 
पहली बात आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू दर इज नो डिफरेंस इन अंटिल एंड टिल दे मीन द सेम थिंग अंटिल मतलब भी तब तक उस टाइम तक अप टू अर्टिकुलर टाइम दे मीन द सेम थिंग दे हैव द सेम मीनिंग सो डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज एज टू वेन टू यूज अंटिल और वेन टू यूज टिल बिकॉज देर इज नो डिफरेंस फील फ्री टू यूज एनी ऑफ दीज वर्ड्स यूज अंटिल और टिल विच एवर सूट यू हेर आर सम एग्जाम्पल्स प्लीज टेक अ लुक एंड आई वुड लाइक समन टू रीड दीज एग्जाम्पल्स Who can I have? Can some new person raise their hand? I'll ask Jyoti. Hey Jyoti, please go ahead. Yes, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. The resto uh, the restaurant is open until midnight. Means, जो रेस्टोरेंट होते हैं वो रात मतलब मिडनाइट तक ओपन रहते हैं खुले रहते Actually, हैं दिस स्टेटमेंट इज अबाउट वन पर्टिकुलर रेस्टोरेंट द रेस्टोरेंट मींस वन ओके ओके मैम दैट इज ओपन अंटिल मिडनाइट मिडनाइट मींस आधी रात तक खुले रहते हैं मतलब 12 ओ मींस 12 एएम दैट्स राइट यस मैम वी वेटेड टिल 6:30 फॉर यू हमने तुम्हारा इंतजार किया वेट किया 6:30 तक साढ़े छह बजे तक फ्राई द अनियंस टिल दे टर्न गोल्डन ब्राउन अनियंस को तब तक प्याज को तब तक भूनो जब तक वो गोल्डन ब्राउन नहीं हो जाते आई वर्क अंटिल मिड नाइट यस्टरडे मैंने कल काम किया मतलब बारह बजे तक बारह ए एम तक द फिल्म डिडंट एंड टिल इलेवन ओ क्लॉक जो मूवी चल रही थी वो साढ़े सॉरी ग्यारह बजे तक खत्म नहीं हुई थी दैट्स राइट थैंक यू ज्योति सो गाइस यू माइट थिंक व्हाई आई हैव यूज्ड अंटिल इन सम सेंटेंसेस एंड व्हाई टिल इन सम सेंटेंसेस देयर इज नो रीजन आई जस्ट फियर लाइक आई वांटेड टू यूज अंटिल इन सम एंड टिल इन सम आई कैन यूज अंटिल wherever i want i can use till wherever if i i want there is no difference so that's how you will use it now please share some examples with me okay um our office the mall didn't close till 2 o'clock yes that's correct please share some more examples aditya do you have examples oh yes ma'am please go ahead uh the the malls are open till 11 o'clock okay and the metro as uh, so the metro is uh, the metro is oh, the metro is working till 11 o'clock okay till what time do you study at in the evening i study for mm -hmm. Two hours. Till what time? In the okay. Yeah, I study till nine o'clock. All right. Yes. So that's how you can use till. Now some more examples. Vikas, could you share some examples, please? Hi, Vikas. Okay, Rahul says, "Don't go anywhere until I get back." That's correct. I'm going to study hard till my graduation. Yeah, till my graduation, until my graduation. That's correct. So yes, I think the project will not be complete till next week. The class will continue till 10 p.m. Will continue, Manish. The class will continue till 10 p.m. Please wait for me until I come back. I was waiting for you till nine thirty. That's right. I will do my homework till six o'clock. I will be busy till five thirty until five thirty. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Satya, please share some more examples. Yes, ma'am. Uh, we decorated the room until the birthday baby comes. Uh, until the birthday baby came. Came. Okay. Until the birthday baby came, mm -hmm. I'm doing this temporary job until I get a good job. Okay. We are attending class till 10 p.m. 
That's right. That's all. Thank you, Satya. So guys, that does till or until, same meaning, feel free to use any. Like you guys are using words. Some are using until, some are using till, so they are correct. Don't enter the room until you see the green light. We celebrate her birthday till midnight, okay? I was waiting for her, what was it? I was waiting there till it was, till it started raining, so okay. Till it started raining. This mail was, okay, the mall was closed till 9 p.m. Then, yeah, all these sentences are correct. Very nice. Let's move on and let's discuss unless. Until you just learned, until means till. Next one is unless. Unless means if not, as you can see. For those of us who speak Hindi, agar aisa nahi hoga, jab tak aisa nahi hoga, tab tak waisa nahi hoga. For that we use unless. For example, uh, jab tak koi mujhe pareshan nahi karta, main bhi usse pareshan nahi karta. So in this kind of a sentence, you use unless. Until is used when you're talking about your time. Ki jab tak wo time aata hai. But unless is used when you're talking about a situation. Not when you're not highlighting the time, but the situation. Jab tak aise situation nahi aati, tab tak mein aisa nahi karta. You're highlighting the situation. So you will use unless. Let's take a look at some examples. Please take a look at these examples and please read these examples for me. Who can... Can you raise your hands, guys, so that I can ask someone new to read these examples? Okay, Sonia, please go ahead. No, first, they won't come unless you invite them. They won't come until you don't invite me. That's right. Second, you can't get a good job unless you speak English well. You can't get a good job until you don't speak good English. Third is most wild animals won't attack unless they are provoked. जो जंगली जानवर होते हैं वो अटैक नहीं करेंगे जब तक तुम उन्हें उत्साहित नहीं करोगे, प्रोवोक नहीं करोगे. Fourth, you can't log in unless you enter the password. तुम लॉग इन नहीं कर सकते जब तक तुम पासवर्ड ना डालो. Fifth, she won't go unless you go. वो जब तक नहीं जाएगी तब तक वो जब तक नहीं जाएगी तब तक तुम नहीं जाओगे. Yes, that's right. Very well explained, Sonia. Thank you. So guys, you just heard Sonia. That's what these sentences mean. But for those of us who speak Hindi, Hindi mein hum bolte, wo tab tak nahi jayegi jab tak tum nahi jaoge. But in English, we'll say she won't go unless you go. That's how we speak. Similarly, all these sentences. What's the difference between until and unless? The difference is when we say until, we are focusing on time. When we use unless, we are focusing on the condition, on the situation. Here, time is not important. What is important is the situation. For example, they won't come unless you invite them. That means the condition is you should invite them. If you if that condition is not met, they will not come. So that's how we speak. They won't come unless you invite them. Please share some more examples with me, guys. Think of such situations and share more examples. Okay, I think I have some examples that you've shared. Okay. Okay, I'm preparing for exam unless I will not complete UPSC. So, Surbhi, you should say, I will keep preparing unless I complete. Not I not complete, you will say unless I complete. I will not disturb anyone unless they disturb me. Arab, you should say unless they disturb me. Jab tak ki wo mujhe disturb nahi karenge, iski English hai unless they disturb me. After unless, your sentence will be a positive one, not a negative one. All right, next one. I did not cook food unless I want to go. Sheetal, I can't understand that sentence. Please explain it. 
Rahul says, don't move unless I tell you. That's right, Rahul. So don't move unless I tell you. Jab tak ki main aapko nahi bataunga, unless I tell you, not don't. No, don't. Like Rahul has spoken it correctly. Arav, okay, Arav has spoken that one. So he says, he won't be able to open a savings account unless he becomes an adult. That's correct. He won't go to, he won't get good marks unless he studies well. That's right, Satya. Okay, you will never know unless you try. Great. Yes, so jab tak ki aap try nahi karoge, iski English hai, unless you try. Na ki unless you don't try. No, unless you try. Don't move unless I tell you. All right. I will not go there unless they invite me. I will keep continue unless someone disturbs me. All right. Manish says, government employees do not work unless we give bribe to them. Yeah, great example. I will not have food unless I'm hungry. Wonderful example. Kajal says, she will not unless you invite her. Maybe she will not go unless you invite her, Kajal. She does not go out unless you go with her. That's right. I will open the laptop unless my battery is full. Sangeeta, can you explain that example? I can't understand. Can you raise your hand, Sangeeta? Let's discuss this. Where are you, Sangeeta? Okay. Sangeeta, what do you want to say? Yeah, I want to say, mm -hmm. I will not open the laptop unless battery will full. Oh, uh, unless the I battery is full. Got it, got yes. it. So you will say, unless the battery is full. Is full. I will not open the laptop. Yeah, yeah, great example. Okay, Jyoti says, my kids will not listen to me unless I listen to them. Yeah, great example. Don't come unless I tell you to. Yeah. No. Good. I will not eat pizza unless you eat. Jab tak ki aap nahi khaoge, unless you eat. That's what we will say. Yes, guys, that's how you use the word unless. Jitendra, do you have any more examples? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, ma'am, uh, uh, ma I am driving unless I do not sleep. What does that mean? I driving karta rahunga jab tak mujhe neend na jaye. Oh, unless, unless I, neen aana ko kehte unless I feel sleepy. Okay, I feel sleepy. Uh, Ma'am, I am studying uh, unless no one disturbs me. Okay. Uh, Ma'am, I will keep preparing for judiciary unless I will not qualify. Okay, but you know, there's one thing you need to keep in mind, guys. Agar aapko time to emphasize karna hai, aap until bolenge. Okay. If you give time for importance, then you say, I'll keep preparing until I clear my exam. Because maybe okay. have time matter But wherever you the emphasis is not on time, the emphasis is on the condition. Then you will use unless. Okay, ma'am. So keep that in mind and then accordingly use it. Okay. Thank Aram you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, Jitian. I will not go outside unless you come. Yeah, she does not speak unless... He's asked to, yeah, I'll study until I will clear my exam. Yeah, so you can say until in such circumstances. So guys, this was unless, and that's all I want to discuss. We discussed six different prepositions, which all, let me take you to the first slide. Today, we discussed between, among, beyond, despite, until and unless. So these are the six prepositions. Are these clear to you? Do you understand all of them? Or do you have any questions? If you have any questions, let's discuss. I'm eating unless you are ready to pay the bills. Okay. Yeah, now do you have any questions? Please ask, we can discuss. If you don't have any questions, that's all I'm discussing today. 
मैंने आप लोगों को लास्ट टाइम बोला था कि आप मेरे से शेयर करिए ऐसे कौन कौन से प्रेपोजिशन होते हैं जिसमें यू फेस डिफिकल्टी द प्रेपोजिशन यू वुड लाइक मी टू डिस्कस विद यू प्लीज मेरे से ग्रुप में शेयर करिए आप लोग इन द व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप वॉट आर सम वर्ड सम प्रेपोजिशन दैट यू फाइंड डिफिकल्टी प्रेपोजिशन भी नहीं है बट इस तरह के रिलेटेड वर्ड अब आपको आपको पता है कि ये सारे इस तरह के वर्ड प्रेपोजिशन होते हैं सो विच आर सम रिलेटेड वर्ड दैट यू फेस चैलेंज यूजिंग प्लीज लेट मी नो इन द ग्रुप so that i can come up with a lesson on those topics so i hope you will let me know in the group today aise kaun se hain prepositions aap mere ko group mein likhenge to acha rahega so main wahan se sare leke i will prepare a lesson and discuss it with you right now if you have questions let's discuss them anyone has any questions okay Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't check the essays. I will check after the class today. Please allow me some time. I'll check and respond to you. Okay. I will. Yeah. I will definitely discuss all the tenses, Sangeeta. Arav says beyond. बहुत मुश्किल है. Okay. Where is Arav? Hi, Arav. Hi, ma'am. You find beyond as as difficult. Yes, ma'am. Now it's fine. Now it's But fine. I am facing problem while while say, uh, making sentences with beyond. Okay. So what you can do is try making some more sentences. If you yes, face any difficulty, uh, you can ask me. But let me ask you. आप ऐसा कैसे बोलोगे कि um, ये जो आज पेपर में आया था ये हमारे सिलेबस से बाहर था हाउ विल यू से दैट द सिलेबस इज बियॉन्ड द पेपर द पेपर इज बियॉन्ड सिलेबस दैट्स राइट द पेपर वाज बियॉन्ड द सिलेबस सो फर्स्ट On, for such purposes you need the word beyond ke to syllabus mein nahi tha so it was beyond the syllabus yes ma'am hai na nahi nahi ye to hamare liye to time ke bahar hai to kaise bolenge ye to time ke bahar hai it's beyond the time ha huh, it's beyond the time so koi bhi cheez kisi cheez ki ek particular jo uska jo hai na उसके लिमिट्स हैं उसके बाहर है तो हम बियॉन्ड वर्ड यूज करते हैं यस मैम यू गॉट इट यस मैम आई गॉट यू कैन थिंक ऑफ मोर सच एग्जांपल्स एंड शेयर विद मी ओके मैम कैन यू थिंक ऑफ एन एग्जांपल राइट नाउ वन एग्जांपल अम द टीवी इज बियॉन्ड माय चेयर बियॉन्ड माय चेयर ओके बियॉन्ड मींस मे बी उससे दूर है यस मैम दैट्स व्हेन यू कैन से इससे दूर है मतलब बियॉन्ड दैट चेयर यू कैन यूज दैट यस दैट्स करेक्ट ऑल राइट संगीता आई गॉट योर पॉइंट वी विल डिस्कस परफेक्ट टेंसेस एंड ओके वरुण सर आई एम कंफ्यूज्ड एंड अनटिल एंड अनलेस सो देयर इज नथिंग कंफ्यूजिंग हियर बट अनटिल इज यूज्ड व्हेन योर फोकस इज ऑन टाइम जब आप बोलेंगे जब तक ये टाइम आएगा तब तक तो अनटिल यूज करते हैं और अनलेस आप यूज करते हैं जब आपका फोकस है उस कंडीशन पर उस सिचुएशन पर सो इफ यू आर फोकसिंग ऑन द कंडीशन यूज अनलेस इफ यू आर फोकसिंग ऑन द टाइम यूज अनटिल दैट्स ऑल व्हाट आई विल डू आफ्टर द क्लासेस आई विल शेयर दिस पीडीएफ विद यू टेक अ लुक एट दिस एंड देन ट्राई टू फॉर्म योर ओन सेंटेंसेस इफ यू स्टिल फेस डिफिकल्टी वी कैन डिस्कस इट टुमारो एनी अदर क्वेश्चंस गाइस How is beyond different from across? Okay, because beyond का मतलब है उस लिमिट के बाहर as you know. Across का मतलब होता है on the other side, दूसरी तरफ को across कहते हैं. Like I am waiting for you across the street. मतलब मैं street के दूसरी तरफ wait कर रहा हूँ आपका. So they have they are very different. Okay, Satya says, could you please tell a peculiar difference between across and along yeah across and along are completely different satya as we just discussed across across means on the other side 
but along means on the same side parallelly okay satya along means on the same side just parallelly that's how we use along for example if i say i'm walking along the road or for example i am walking along the houses that means i am walking in the same direction as the houses and i am walking parallelly did you get that satya is that clear across means one end to the other end along means in the same direction parallelly parallelly to everybody understands parallelly so that's all guys okay if you still have any questions please feel free to ask me uh, varun do you have any questions no i'm actually i'm confused in unless uh, unless uh -huh. i'm the, how to use that kind of situation okay so for example i'm situation you can use yeah. आपको जब टाइम पे फोकस करना है फॉर एग्जांपल जब तक आप नहीं आओगे तब तक हम खाना नहीं खाएंगे ठीक है तो यहाँ पर क्या है अगर आपका फोकस है कि टाइम जिस टाइम तक आप नहीं आओगे तो आप बोलेंगे वी विल नॉट ईट फूड अंटिल यू कम बट अगर आपका फोकस कंडीशन पर है कि मेरी कंडीशन क्या है खाना खाने की जब आप आओगे तब आप अनलेस यूज करेंगे वी विल नॉट ईट फूड अनलेस यू कम इट डिपेंड्स ऑन यू आपका फोकस क्या है आपका फोकस टाइम है तो अंटिल यूज करिए आपका फोकस वो कंडीशन है तो अनलेस यूज करिए मैम ओके मैम आई विल ट्राई द मेक सेंटेंसेस एनी क्वेरीज दिस इज फॉर एग्जांपल आप सेंड अ मैसेज आई वांट टू टेल यू वन मोर थिंग फॉर एग्जांपल कोई अभी घर पे नहीं है और आप उनसे बात कर रहे हैं आप उनको बोल जब तक आप नहीं आओगे तब तक खाना नहीं खाएंगे तो आप बोल रहे हो कि उस टाइम तक हम आपका वेट करेंगे टाइम की बात करें तो आप अनटिल यूज करेंगे आप बोलेंगे आई विल वेट फॉर यू अनटिल सॉरी We will not eat dinner until you come. क्योंकि हम बोल रहे हैं उस टाइम तक बट कोई आपके सामने ही बैठा है लेकिन वो कह रहा है मैं खाना नहीं खाऊंगा तो आप बोलेगा अच्छा ठीक है आप नहीं खाओगे तो मैं भी नहीं खाऊंगा तो यहाँ पर टाइम की बात नहीं करें हम इस कंडीशन की बात करें कि मैं भी तभी खाऊंगा जब आप खाओगे यहाँ पर हमारे लिए कंडीशन इंपॉर्टेंट है तो ऐसे कंडीशन में आप बोलेंगे आई विल नॉट ईट अन यू ईट Okay, Did you understand the difference, Varun? Yes, ma'am. Okay, it's good that you understood. Try to try to think of more situations and try to put them in sentences. Share with me in the group. If you make yes, any mistakes, I will let you know. If you can't figure out how to say it, वो भी आप मेरे को पूछ सकते हैं ग्रुप में. I'll respond to you. Okay. All right, Varun. All right, guys. So that's all for today. I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a wonderful evening.